section 7.6, sine and cosine ratios. In our last section, we talked about tangent. And we remember that tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite leg over the adjacent leg if we have a right triangle. Well, today we're going to be talking about sine and cosine, which are our other two common trig ratios. This brings us back to looking at SOHCAHTOA, where sine of an theta will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent, as we recall, is opposite over adjacent. So please make sure you know SOHCAHTOA Make sure you know these ratios. The trick for when we're solving for sides is to figure out which trig ratio we're working with. First we identify our angle, and then we might want to write opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. We are looking for the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. Well, looking above, the trig ratio that uses an opposite and a hypotenuse is sine. So we're going to be using the sine ratio in this first one, our so part of SOHCAHTOA. We know sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, meaning sine of 55 degrees equals x over 20 x will equal 20 times sine of 55 degrees. Again, make sure that your calculator's mode is degrees. We can type this in. We get sine of 55 degrees is about 0.819. We multiply by 20, and we will get 16.383. And that is our missing value for x. Let's try another example. Go ahead, try to solve for the missing value y. Do this on your own first, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to check your answer. All right, we have our angle, which means we have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. We're given the hypotenuse and the adjacent. Looking at our happy box, we are given, remember we're working with adjacent and the hypotenuse. We're working with cosine. We have the ka part of SOHCAHTOA, where cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. That means cosine of 55 degrees equals y over 42. y equals 42 times cosine of 55 degrees. Cosine 55 is about 0.57. Multiply that by 42, and we get 24.09. So y in this case is 24.09. And lastly, example three. Take a moment, work this out in your own first, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, we have our angle. We have opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. We're working with the opposite and the adjacent, which is our toe apart. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent meaning tangent of 55 degrees equals 15 over z. z ends up being 15 over tan of 55 degrees. We can use calculator magic to discover that this is, in fact, 10.503. And there it is, 10.503.